Hello, all you starfighters out there. Commander Kingfish here, and I am back into the UC mission. Uh, we are doing, uh, well, let's take a quick peek here. We're doing friends like these, and we need to report to the Armistice Archives. So, we are. We're right here at the Armistice Archives. So, let's uh, see what we need to do in here. I think we're supposed to be getting the data for uh, Hadrian so that uh, she can continue her work on the Terramorphs. So let's head down to the archives. Armistice archives. Uh, secure the future. Okay. Open. Okay, what do we... We've been expecting you. Please approach the monitoring station and we will go over the rules. Okay, where's that at? Over here? Oh, over here. Sorry, wrong side. Welcome, Captain, to the archives. To proceed, you will need to deposit your codes into the three corresponding receptacles. Once they are verified, I will open the door. Your data resides in Unit 18. You will not be able to access any of the other units. Once you've collected your data, return to the entrance. You may insert the first of the archival codes when you're ready to begin. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, let's go and put a code in over here. All right. That's that one. Okay, now oh, over here. Okay. And that's that one. Okay. And then over here. All codes verified. Unlock engaged. You may proceed, Captain. Okay, thank you. All right, where are we going? Uh, we've got to come in down here. Open the door. Unit 18, let's go E, collect the data. Collect the Terramorph data. Okay, return the data. All right. We're done. Yeah, easy peasy, right? No problems. Okay, so let's go back. And I think we need to go back and see Hadrian. All right, let's get out of here. And let's just check. Return the data. All right, let's just look at our mission. Okay, we just got to return the data, so... Once I get over there, uh, we'll see what it's all about. Okay, we are just about back you with our lot, right? data. Just do us all a favor and, never and let's uh, turn to return to McIntyre hey, down here. Captain, Deputy told me what went down. Impressive work. Captain, if you'd be willing to transfer the documents to the Major, she and I have been discussing what comes next. Okay. Time for us to start getting some real answers and figure out if we've been asking the right questions. So whenever you're ready. Uh, sure. Hey, Major, you may take possession of the Terramorph data. Acknowledged and accepted, Captain. So with the data out of the way, we've been discussing where exactly this work's getting done. The Red Devil's headquarters on Mars, back where you found Percival, seemed the natural spot. Yeah. Already has the equipment, the safety measures. Though it sounded like the deputy had a few more things she needed to discuss with you first. Indeed. The most important of which is getting you your citizenship. What? Then I guess we'll see you on Mars. Captain, if you'll follow me. Okay. Citizenship. Holy smokes. All right. Well, let's follow the ladies here. And let's see what uh, this citizenship is all about. Excuse me.
Yeah, I wish uh, wish they would coordinate uh, walking with the NPCs a little better, but yeah, it is what it is. All right, where are we going there? Citizenship, citizenship. Ah, uh, oh. Uh, New Atlantis. Okay. All right. Okay. Talk. All right, Captain. Are you ready to become a citizen of the United Colonies? Well, sure. I'm ready. Good. This isn't the only item we need to discuss, so I'll give you the short version. Okay. Please raise your hand. All Captain, right. Captain, through raise. your actions today and in days past, you have earned your place among the United Colonies. Through service, bravery, strength, and upholding of the mutual good. Will you carry and cultivate these values for as long as you remain a citizen? Why, I will. And then, Captain, I'm pleased to welcome you into the United Colonies as a full citizen. Here, your official ID and your citizenship dispensation. Cool. We've also let the Aphelion Realty Office out in the plaza know you're approved to purchase property. Oh, nice. Now, the other item we needed to discuss. Okay. There's a member of the UC who's asked to speak to you. Huh? This person is in a sensitive position. Normally, we wouldn't even consider something like this. But we think this person has information that could prove useful in dealing with the Terramorphs. And they've stated they'll only share it with you. They asked for you by name. Hey, what? So I need your agreement that everything you're about to see is kept in the strictest confidence. You can tell no one. Can you agree to these terms? Well, sure. I'm a citizen now. Yeah, I'll take it to my grave. Let's hope it never comes to that. Head to the elevator. You're going to subsection 7. I'll make sure you're cleared for access by the time oh. you get there. Subsection 7. Holy smokes. And we got a skill point. All right. Wow. Okay. Uh, proceed to meeting in subsection 7. All right. Well, let's uh, go back in here. And let's see what this is all about. All right. Uh, I think we got to get over to the elevator. Oh, yeah. Whistle, whistle away. Okay. Let's, uh, subsection seven. This sounds a little uh, shady, doesn't it? Basement? Where in the hell? Okay. All right. In through here, what do we got? Okay. Logging authorized entry. Unsealing access. You may proceed down the corridor. Fine, okay. What is this? Oop. Alright, down the corridor. Oh, I guess we should close the door. This is supposed to be highly secure. All right, into here. What do we have? What do we got down here? Welcome, Captain. What? Please come down and approach the intercom. What the hell are you? Chat. Okay. Uh, intercom. Okay. President Abayo was kind enough to give me a few files to peruse. What? Quite the series of accomplishments you've managed. But now you face a foe unlike any other. An invisible enemy lurking in the shadows. You're going to need all the help you can get. Which is why I hoped we could speak. Do you know who I am? Well, I don't have uh, anything to really go by. Let's see. Ah, you look so familiar. You were in a movie or something. I know it. No. Nope. Can't say as I do. I'm Francois Fanon. Huh? But most know me as Vevictus. Oh, great. Vevictus. I was an admiral during the Colony War. Yep. One of its great villains, if you believe the slates. I 
was to be executed for my crimes. Yep. But the previous regime deemed me too valuable to simply discard. So they put me here, a sacrifice on the altar of peace. Even my death served the colonies. Yeah, okay. Uh, definitely not one of the chattier ghosts I've met, except about what you actually want. Uh, well, let's do this, son. That's Hadrian's last name. Very astute. That's my daughter. My progeny. Yeah. You've been working alongside. Okay. Has she shared with you the nature of our little family? Uh, she told me she's your clone, yes. Uh, did she? So willing to trust Hadrian. I never did succeed in driving that out of her. Our relationship has always been a challenging one. The Major was born to become a great leader, carry on the legacy I established, and was given all the finest training to support it. And she excelled. Yep. But the universe cut all that short. Now, though, it's placed even more crucial work in front of the two of you. And I think I have a part to play in helping you accomplish what you've set out to do. Oh, uh, fine, fine. I'm listening. After some long years earning the trust of this current regime, the UC has been permitting me to work alongside one of their recovery teams. They what? Helping them gather intelligence on, locate, and organize scenarios to lure in some of the criminals that evaded justice after the colony war. Oh. With quite a few successes, I might add. But in the process, I managed to find something else. The names and locations of Hadrian and Percival's old research team. Valuable manpower for the effort you're about to embark on. Okay, well, I'll just... tell you where they are. But in exchange, what? I need something dealt with. Uh, I'm not sure I like the sound of this. One task. That's all I require. There is a former colleague of mine, a man by the name of Dr. Reginald Orlaise. Like myself and Hadrian, he was involved in some of the United Colony's more problematic lines of research. Mech weapons were his specialty. Oh, great. If it dealt death, he could make a deal more. When the colony war ended, he fled, refusing to face tribunal, and has continued to peddle his skills to the highest bidder to this day. But I finally found him. I want you to track him down and deal with him, however you're able. I'm not expecting he'll come quietly. Bring me evidence that the job's done. And I'll tell you what I know. Okay. Well. Uh. All right. Let's just take care of that. Good. According to my information, he's been hiding around the world of Etheria. Wolf system. There's a star station in the vicinity. The Den. The head of the local vanguard, one Captain Marquez, should be able to help you find our man. Okay, well, let's uh, go uh, speak to Deputy McIntyre first, and then uh, we'll leave this character, Vivictus. Great. He's supposed to be dead, right? Isn't he? Uh, apparently not. Living in a cell down here. I bet that's wonderful. Okay. All right. Oh, thank you. That is good. Okay. Let's close the door. All right. Thank you. All right. Now to get the hell out of here. Uh, back, back this way. Let's go see Deputy McIntyre. And... Uh, cabinet chambers. We'll go there first. All right. Uh, where's the deputy at where are we uh it's around this way down into here yes what okay there's something you haven't told me 
Captain, did your uh, meeting go well? I hope it's clear now why we yeah. need you to agree to all the secrecy. Yeah, yeah. Ah, there's an executed war criminal in your Captain, basement. Captain, please, keep your voice down. The situation with the prisoner is a complex one. A holdover from a different era. But it's a situation we've been managing as discreetly and humanely as we can for some time now. And the most critical part of that management is making sure no one else learns of it. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yeah, I'll keep it to myself. Good. Because bringing this up to the outside world would create the unfair appearance, Captain, that you're unhinged. And that's not a good look for any of us. Now, was there something in particular you needed to discuss about what we were just discussing? Well, the prisoner asked me to deal with a Dr. Olace. Figured you and I should discuss. Dr. Reginald Olace? He's finally found him. Of course, killing Orlais is completely out of the question, but bringing him to justice, he's been on the lam for years. That'd be a huge win for the UC. What's being offered in return? Ah, uh, the location of Hadrian's old research team members. Really? He found the members of the research team. Yep. We'd already initiated a search for them, but it'd save a lot of time and manpower if he just gave us that information. Captain, if that's the deal, you have my endorsement. Just so long as you make every effort to bring the man in alive. Not a problem. Now, was there anything else you wanted to discuss regarding your meeting? No, didn't have anything else. Let's uh, get this going. Then I'll bid you good day, Captain. And remind you of the importance of discretion. As always, Deputy McIntyre. As always. Okay. All right. So we've got to head to the den. Uh, into the wolf system. So, I will uh, see you all when I get there. Okay, we've just arrived here at the den here in the wolf system. So, Captain, greetings. we need to uh, talk with. Can't wait until I get to rotate out of here. Nice. Okay, Cap. Captain. Looking to lodge a complaint? Then you want UC security, not the Vanguard. Actually, I'm with the Vanguard. Super uh, Ultra, Captain. Oh, apologies, Captain. Didn't recognize you without the uniform. So, what can I do for you? Well, Reginald Orlais. I heard you might know him. Orlais doesn't ring a bell. Anything you can tell me about him? I don't want to say too much, but he's a former UC scientist wanted for war crimes. Seriously? Out here? Surprised they didn't send out a general notice he's in town. Though, I guess there's less a chance he bolts if they keep it hush. But I expect we would have heard something... Wait. The Warlock. There's been rumor of a ship out there for years now. Doesn't respond to hails, never docks. More than a few amateur investigators have tried to find it, and at least two never came back. Ethereus debris fields are plenty dangerous if you're not used to flying in them. But if you're suggesting it might not have been the fields that got them, well, I can give you the coordinates of the Warlock's last sighting. Yeah, that would be great. Can't think of a better spot your Orlais might be hiding. Perfect. I'll take those coordinates. Sure thing. Here, this should get you pointed in the right direction. Go get your man. Okay, ship EM weapons damage systems at random, possibly stunning. e engines for boarding. Well, that's probably too much work. And uh -huh. I know we're supposed to bring him back alive, but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll just uh, hand out our own justice for this Orlais character, right? All right, let's uh, let's get undocked here, and we're just going to uh, jump over to the coordinates. So let's uh, undock, and 
get through the scene here, the docking scene. Okay. Let's see where we need to go now. Let's get up here. Uh, we are looking right here. Find the warlock. Let's travel over here. Okay. All right. Hey, we better be ready for this. All right. Auto saving. All right. Where do we need to go? Uh oh. I have a feeling that that is our guy. Let's put this over here. And put these up there. Okay. Problem is, I think he's got more ships that are firing in on us. And let's see if we can kind of cruise down through here. Yeah, he's kind of in behind here. Endless boy. Okay. Savor your last moments, moat. All systems. Shoot them down. Okay. Come on out, uh, warlock. All right, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we got terrible ship maneuvering. No, that you are nothing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Damaged, but I still stand. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We got this guy. We almost got him. Destroy the ship. We did that. All right. Collect the data. Particle turret. Is that what we need? Where are we at? Where's my data? Okay. All right. Uh All right, let's uh E take all of that stuff. Okay. What else was out here? There was something else that I was looking at. I don't know. Is it, uh... Eh. Oh, I don't know. All right. Well, we've got to go back, I think, and talk to Vivictus now. Return the evidence to Vivictus. All right, so when I get back to Vivictus, yeah, I'll catch up with you all again. Okay, we're down here in subsection 7, about to go see Vivictus again. And let's... Am I clear? Okay. I guess I'm clear. And better close the door. 
All right. Let's get over here. Let's save Ivictus. Okay. All right. Welcome back, Captain. Do you have some news for me regarding Dr. Olay's? Ah, the, uh, well, we'll do it the, I did my part. Now you do yours. Happily. But first, I believe you owe me something. Your evidence. I uh, got your evidence right here. I found this, his ID. Excellent. Please, deposit it in the transfer system. All right, uh, okay. Over here. Insert ID transfer card. Transfer accepted. Would you look at that? Kept it all these years. Some simply couldn't let go of that old world. Okay. This is fine work, Captain. I can ensure the remaining team members find their way to the Red Devil's headquarters. Except for one. That one you'll need to collect yourself. His name is Kaiser. You can find him on the Freestar world of Nera, wandering the battlefield there. The area was ground zero for Xeno weapon deployments during the war. So I would arm yourself appropriately. And I think you'll want to check in with Hadrian and Dr. Walker before paying it a visit. Kaiser will likely have security protocols you'll need their help to overcome. Okay. Yeah, wait. Uh, security protocols? Is this Kaiser guy a robot? A military model. Specifically customized for the needs of the Xeno Warfare team during the Colony War. A powerful resource. If you can recover him. Alright, well, this better be worth it. You're saving the galaxy, Captain. What tool wouldn't you use to protect it? Alright. More credits, mission rewards, more XP. So, I think we've got to report to Hadrian. Alright. So, uh, once I get to Hadrian, which I believe she is probably on Mars is what I'm guessing, I think. Uh, so let's head on out of here. And I know one thing, though. I do have to beef up the old ship at some point. All right, when I catch up with Hadrian, I'll catch up with you guys. Okay, I've made it here to uh, Red Devil's headquarters. Oh, nice ship. Uh, let's uh, go on down. And let's see Hadrian. And Dr. Walker. Okay, here we are. All right. Let's see. Over this way. Maybe down through here. Okay. And looks like over and into here. Oh, get the door out of the way. Captain, uh, welcome back. All right. I was afraid you might have gotten reassigned. You've been gone so long. So how does it feel to be a citizen? Ah, uh, feels good, Major. It should. You risked life and limb to earn it. Okay. But it is real good to have you here again. We've been going through the Terramorph data and... Well, we're going to need all the help we can get. These logs, they're even more thorough than I remembered. Genetic workups, population statistics, hell, even their food chain. I'd completely forgotten, for example, that there was a creature that actually ate terramorphs. <laughs> At this point, the data's given us more options to explore than we have people to work on them. Okay, I can help with that. I found your research team. Uh... You're, well, yeah, well, then you're going to love this. Your research team's on its way. <laughs> That'd be something, wouldn't... I'm sorry, are you? You're serious. You found our research team? That's incredible. That accelerates everything. With them back, it'll let us... Wait, Kaiser... 
Did you find Kaiser? Well, he's my next stop, but I was told I need your help overcoming his security protocols. That... That's right. You would need that. Whoever gave you these leads sure knew their stuff. So how? How exactly did you manage to find them? Well, I had some help, but we need to leave it at that. <laughs> you can't be... Oh, you are serious. Okay. No more questions. But still, getting Kaiser back, that gives us more than a few new paths forward on dealing with the Terramorphs. But if he's been out there on his own all this time, you're gonna need something. Come on. Okay. We've already made a lot of progress getting this place back online. Some of the containment chambers were a bit on the unpleasant side, but the facility staff made short work of that. Okay. Yeah, this place is looking pretty good. Uh, uh, let's let her get up there a little ways. You gotta walk the damn far for. I know it's here somewhere. Uh -huh. Here, Kaiser schematics. Actuators, weapons, batteries. That old robot's been MIA for a while, so chances are he's gonna need some repairs. He's okay. also got a lock on his voice controls. You can give yourself authorization with the phrase Nos Belli Machinis. Oh. Now, where exactly is the old machine? Uh, Freestar Territory wandering a battlefield on a world called Naria. A battlefield? On Nera? Oh, sheesh. No wonder no one's found him. That sector of Nera was destination number one for Xeno weapons during the war. Yeah, great. Add to that general environmental devastation and the kind of lawlessness that comes with any Free Star world, and that planet's got more than enough ways to make a visit your last. But I think there's a place where you can start your search. Okay. Hmm. Yep. One of a kind salvage. Licensed to an Angelo Alonso. Goes by Gel. As good a place to start as any. All right. Well, I guess I am off to Nura. And I'll make sure we're ready to put them to use as soon as you've got them. Okay. So, I think our next episode is going to take place tracking down Kaiser. Uh, I, so, I think this is a probably a pretty good space place to stop. Okay, well, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the video out a lot. And please subscribe. It uh, really helps the channel. And don't forget to ring that bell. It will uh, let you know when uh, I am uh, uploading uh, a new video content. And I upload video content uh, on a weekly basis. So, uh, yep. Yeah. All right, all you starfighters out there, keep your heads low and don't get shot. And with that... Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.